Hello YouTubers. In this video I will talk about Siemens IM1517 CPU interface module. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. The IM1517 interface module is a component of the ET200S distributed I.O. system. It enables to decentralized control tasks. This interface module can be used as a standalone CPU. Let's have a look at the functionality of this interface module. As it has integrated CPU, this interface module has a PLC functionality with integrated of 48 kilobytes working memory. It can only be operated with fitted load memory, MMC. It can be enhanced with up to 63 I.O. modules from ET200S range. There is mode selector for run, stop and MRES. It also has indicating LEDs. Can be connected to the Profibus network. By installing DP Master module, you can enable DP Master functionality. At the end of the rack terminating module must be attached otherwise CPU will remain in start mode. Let's create a project, where IM1517 CPU will be as slave on Profibus DP network for S7500 series PLC. In the hardware catalog expand controllers folder, then Somatic S7500. Find your CPU in the folder, select it, and then drag and drop it onto devices and networks window. My CPU is 1516 3 PNDP. I am going to name it as 1516 3. 1516 3 PNDP will be as master on the Profibus. Now you need to create a DP master system. Click on DP interface of your master PLC. Select Profibus address properties in the general tab under the DP interface. Create new subnet by clicking button, add new subnet. If you want to change the parameters of DP master system, you can click green arrow. It will open DP master system parameters window. In the network settings you can change highest Profibus address, transmission speed and profile of your DP master system. Now let's add slave CPU, IM1517. Find Somatic ET200 CPU folder under the controllers in the hardware catalog, and expand it. Find the right folder of your CPU, expand it, select the CPU version and drag and drop it onto the same window as your master CPU. I will name it as 1517. Now you need to configure your IM1517 CPU as slave. If you take a closer look, you will see that IM1517 does not have Profibus interface. The orange color says, that it is MPI interface. Well, you shouldn't worry about that, it is normal behavior, as by default, MPI interface is active on newly inserted module. Select your IM1517 CPU, find the MPI DP interface properties under the general tab and expand it. Select MPI address, and in the parameters you can change interface type from MPI to Profibus. Select your DP master system from the drop down menu in the interface subnet. Your IM1517 will become a slave on it. 
change the number of profibus address to the one that is suitable for you. Take a closer look at your CPU. You can see the notation, not assigned. It means, that there is no master assigned to the CPU. To fix that, click on operating mode under the general tab in the properties of the IM1517 CPU. Here you can assign a master to your slave. Select DP interface of 1516 CPU from drop down list. Now CPU 1516 is assigned as master for IM1517 CPU. IM1517 CPU is now configured as I slave on DP master system. Next step is to configure transfer areas by assigning peripheral inputs and outputs. Expand operating mode and select I slave communication. In the column transfer area, click on add new. This one will be configured send data from master to slave. I will name it according that, master to slave. To get data from master, you need to specify the range of outputs on the master side and corresponding inputs range on slave side. I will set 16 words starting on 10 on both sides. According to the setup, 16 words starting on output 10 of master PLC, will be transferred to the input starting on input 10 on slave side. Now I need to add one more line, to send data from slave to master. Click on add new in transfer area column. I will name new area as slave to master. This time you must specify inputs on master side and outputs on slave side. To do that you need to change transfer direction. It can be achieved by clicking direction arrow icon once. Now the direction is from slave to master. Outputs can be specified on slave side, and inputs on master side. I will set same 16 words and same numbers for input and output areas. Configuration is finished, IM1517 CPU is an I slave for S7 1516 3 PNDP CPU. Unfortunately I have no hardware to test it. Next I will create a setup, where IM1517 CPU is an I slave for S7 1200 series CPU. You need to get S7 1200 series CPU. From the hardware catalog expand folder controllers, then Somatic S7 1200, and select controller from folder CPU. I have selected CPU S7 1214C, DC DC RLY, so I will name it as 1214C. S7 1200 series CPU has no integrated Profibus interface. You need to install communication module. You can find one in hardware catalog. You can find one in hardware catalog. Find the folder named communication modules in the Somatic S7 1200, under the controllers and expand it. Expand folder named Profibus. There are two communication modules, one is CM12425, it is used to connect S7-1200 to Profibus DP as I slave. Another one is CM12435. It is used to connect S7-1200 to Profibus DP as DP master. This module is needed for our application. Insert it into the S7-1200 system.
In the properties of the DP interface select Profibus address. Put it in the same subnet as IM1517 CPU. Select IM1517 CPU. Switch to the properties, general tab, MPIDP interface, operating mode. Currently, S7-15-16-3 PNDP is assigned as master for IM1517 CPU. Expand drop-down list, and select 1214C as DP master. As you can see, IM1517 CPU became an i-slave of 1214C. DP master system. Now, the transfer areas needs to be reconfigured. Select I slave communication. I will leave same addresses as for S7-1500 CPU, but I will reduce the length to two words. Configuration is finished. Now IM1517 CPU is an i-slave for the S7-1200 CPU. Next I will create a setup, where IM1517 is an i-slave for S7400. You need to get S7400 series CPU. From the hardware catalog expand folder controllers, then somatic S7400, and select controller from folder CPU. In the properties of the DP interface select Profibus address. Put it in the same subnet as IM1517 CPU. Select IM1517 CPU. Switch to the properties, general table. MPIDP interface, operating mode. Currently, S7-1214C is assigned as master for IM1517 CPU. Expand drop-down list, and select PLC1DP interface as DP master. As you can see, IM1517 CPU became an i-slave of PLC1 master system. It is an i-slave of S7400 PLC. Now let's modify transfer areas. Setup is finished. IM1517 CPU is configured as an i-slave for S7400 CPU, with configured data transfer areas. Next I will create a setup, where IM1517 is an i-slave for S7300. 
you need to get S7300 series CPU. From the hardware catalog expand folder controllers, then somatic S7300, and select controller from folder CPU. I have selected CPU 3152DP, so I will name it as 3152DP. In the properties of the DP interface select Profibus address. Put it in the same subnet as IM1517 CPU. Select IM1517 CPU. Switch to the properties, general table, MPIDP interface, operating mode. Currently, PLC1, which is S7400 is assigned as master for IM1517 CPU. Expand drop down list, and select 3152 DP master interface as DP master. IM1517 CPU became an iSlave of 3152 DP master system. Now let's modify transfer areas. Setup is finished. IM1517 CPU is configured as an iSlave for S7300 CPU, with configured data transfer areas. If you find this video useful, please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.